Um, so that is going to be our first order of business, the Jetro companies. Uh, we're going to start with Alchemist and Suzuki-san. Come on down. I like your t-shirt. He's wrapping the t-shirt. Yeah, you do. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Suzuki, uh, co-founder, CEO of Argus Material. Okay, uh, there are big problems on the earth, a climate change and waste issue. However, it is very expensive to deal with those problems until this moment. So the solution is converting waste into green hydrogen and a greenhouse gas credit by decentralized equipment. The idea is we have decentralized system instead of the centralized system. So hydrogen is produced at big plant However, the problem is after producing hydrogen, they have to distribute. Where energy consumed for the distribution is much, much bigger than the energy used for hydrogen production. So instead, we locate decentralized system where the waste exists and where hydrogen consumed. Then result is yeah, our customer can obtain the hydrogen with one third of the current cost. Our business model, the core business is equipment sales, followed by spare part sales and field service. Then that equipment not only produce the hydrogen, but the data. The data used for issuing a proof of recycling and also creation, creation of the greenhouse gas credit. The founders, myself and James, are serial entrepreneurs in the climate tech. And Saito is located in Japan. Yeah, actually, he is the only guy who is in Japan now. And Ted, he is a genius equipment designer. He used to work for Brighton. And then strong advisory board is supporting this project. Dan Maiden was a president of Applied Material. He is a legend president in the equipment business. And Yoshio Nishi is a professor at Stanford. And Stephen is a lawyer. And he is especially uh, IP part is very, very strong. And Kerry, uh, she was present at the TRI, which is the Toyota subsidiary in Silicon Valley. And technology, so that technology was invented 20 years ago by a Japanese major company. Then we add American cutting edge technology Our pilot project is Indonesia. So we have uh, LOI with a major industrial park. And in the industrial park, we convert the waste into green energy. Then energy is utilized for green data center. Our target customers the rural city in Asia. So they don't have even insulator yet. They don't have any method to deal with those waste. They just dump those waste. Then we let them convert their own waste into money. And the e-commerce warehouse, like Amazon, Walmart, they need hydrogen for hydrogen forklift. And they are struggling to deal with it their own waste, especially Amazon. The apparel return, 50% of the sales coming back to 
Amazon warehouse and hydrogen stations and the factory. So we have uh, sales uh, over 300 million by 2030. We have closed seed run last year. Now we open precisely. So far, one VC committed for this round. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Suzuki. Um, I want to remind our presenters, you need to stand over here or you will not be on the camera. Okay? Um, so, okay, next up is Ipe with acoustic. Come on down. Hi, my name is Ipe Soma from Acoustic Innovations. It's a pleasure to <coughs> introduce you our innovative technology, the Vansakori. As you may have noticed, tires are the essential component in automotive industry today. Its market is expanding. Meanwhile, the tires are far from sustainability. 75% of end of life tires goes into landfill. There is no time to waste to change this situation to realize a sustainable future. But the problem is, in the last 120 years, the tire technology has no drastic improvement in its vibration control, which directly causes limitation of lifespan. Current solution in the market are quite inside the box, which require trade-offs between features. For example, if we made a tire stiffer by material structure, it would improve the mileage and extend the tire life. But the trade-offs keep the safety issues, such as rapid reduction in driving comfort and less grip in wet conditions. Now, as a solution, we have developed and patented the innovative tire technology Evasa coating, a non-Newtonian adaptive coating that helps tires run smoother without trade-offs. It can be applied by spraying a special paint onto the surface of tire in a normal application. Additional weight is less than 200 gram per tire. It is easy to apply to any size and any type of tire. With the Evasa coating technology, With the most according technology, we can save money to exchange tires with double tire lifespan and reduce waste going to the landfill. Reduce cost to move and transport by more than 10% mileage improvement. And make driving easier and more enjoyable with road noise reduction. And mitigate driver fatigue, which makes your driving experience safer. Other technology is quite easy to apply we would let authorized service shop apply coating by themselves. Our target customers will be transportation companies, which, which is running trucks, buses, and taxis. The Vansa coating can improve the running cost and ESG performance. Also, other target would be shops where they sell tires and tire services. They can apply the Vansa coating as an attractive, attractive add-on option to improve tire performance. For every seller model, we supply the demaster coating material to the shop at $60 per car, and the end of the price would be $160 or more according to the tire size. Currently, our raw material cost is around $20 per car. For a passenger car user example, we calculate the coating will save more than $1,300 within 12 years just by lifespan improvement. Additionally, they will receive the benefit from mileage improvement and smoother driving car during all this period. Previous research and demo tests have already proven the safety, durability, and efficacy 
customer trial, trial with 50 users are completed and feedbacks are now being collected. Now, we already have started a reseller negotiation with a big automotive part retailer in Japan called Outback. We project that the sales will expand up to $15 million within five years. I spent last 22 years in acoustic field and co-founder and CTO Sanford Hawkins is an acoustic engineer who is a specialist in acoustic control in various environments. Today, we have applied our expertise to control acoustics to innovate high technology. The former chairman of governmental tire noise regulation committee, Professor Masao Ishihama, is our technical advisor and a former venture capitalist, Go Fujiyama. Yeah, Go Fujiyama is our chief financial officer. For a quick growth, we are now calling for a seed round investment to scale up the sales. We would focus on customer acquisition. Customer acquisition service customer acquisition, service automation, and reseller training. This would require up to 500k US dollars in investment. We believe our technology will play an essential role to realize a sustainable future. If you are interested in joining us our journey, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. All right, good job, Ike. Okay, next up, Haru with Bowie. Come on over. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, today, oh, this is, uh, Uh, today, I'd like to introduce our business, Bui. I'm founder, Teru Hayashi. Um, I want to show you one picture uh, of small island of Japan. This island collects 8,000 tons of plastic waste every year. The static say, the static say 12 million tons of plastic waste is spilled out from the land. And 80% of the plastic waste come out from Asia which is located in the upstream of Japan. So that's why Japan collects so many amount of the plastic waste. The Japanese people voluntarily collect the plastic waste in each coastline. If the Japanese do not, that plastic waste directly flows to the United States and all over the world. But that plastic waste is, after the collection, go for just landfill or incineration, 100%. So we decided to transform that plastic waste to the beautiful artifact. I, myself, is in the plastic industry for 30 years and also operating my com plastic company for 20 years. And then co-founder Sayumi, a uh, product designer, we worked together for 10 years. We decided to make a small but functional team to solve this problem. And we also have a strong connection with over 20 Japanese frontier groups who collect the plastic waste. Uh, the conventional technology is, can do nothing for the plastic waste because the uh, conventional process needs the sorting of the plastic. But our process, uh, the, the sorting, the plastic waste is uh, come together uh, for the mixed. So we invented the original technology to recycle the plastic waste. We don't use a cylinder to melt the plastics, so the, all the plastic waste come in one place uh, to make the product. This process also only need a single heating process, as conventional process need at least two times of heating. So this technology is kind of the very uh, unique uh, characteristic. One is that uh, we can use 100% marine plastics, while the conventional process only can contain the 25% uh, uh, maximum. And also, we don't put any color, any binder, so that each product has a unique color and pattern come out from the waste itself. 
And also the plastic waste is chemically polluted so that we put the film on either side of the product. Uh, so we make the ecosystem from with this technology, we purchase the plastic waste from the volunteer groups and transform it and put the, add the value to it and then back in society again. So we put the name of the location where the waste is collected and also the information of the people who collect the plastic waste. Our customer is very satisfied with this story because people feel that the you are collecting the plastic waste with your uh, uh, consumption. Last year, uh, we sold the 200,000 US dollars of product in the Japanese market, which means uh, this uh, product is already finished the PMF. The so people are uh, accepted to buy uh, marine plastic waste. Last year, we also collect uh, purchased the two tons of plastic waste, and then two years after from now, we are collecting 100 tons, and by 2030, uh, we are going to 8,000 tons of plastic waste. Uh, so for that sake, we are expanding the size of the product year by year, but it's not enough to consume all the product with, uh, plastic waste. So we decided to license our technology to the uh, other people uh, we already proved that one ton of plastic waste will transform to the 200,000 uh, uh, US dollar. So which means uh, if we provide our license, people could make some money with the plastic waste. So we licensing the volunteers then uh, who can collect the grants from the local government. So those volunteer groups have a strong tie with the local government so the, they could sell their product to the local government. We licensing those frontier groups so that we can collect more plastic waste than now. Uh, for these times, uh, we are offering the $1 million of funding for pre-A stage. Uh, just usage for the demo facility uh, to licensing to the volunteer groups and also the promotion or exhibition and also a little bit about the uh, burnout cost. And someday, uh, with our technology, marine plastic going to be the precious things, and we cannot make the plastic waste. That's what we are expecting. So we want to be, uh, our buoy product want to be the extinct like Dodo. <laughs> so if you're interested in, please give us a contact. We also have the sample over there to give away sample. Uh, we have the NFC with the keychains, and each one is a different color and pattern. If you touch it, you will know who are collecting that waste. Thank you. All right, good job. All right, next up, Hello Space. This is our last company from the Detro cohort. So come on in. Got his luggage. He's going to go to the airport right after this. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hello. My name is Takatoshi Iwashita from Hello Space. Today I will introduce our patented technology called Regenerative Drive System. The brand name is MagDrive. So let me do this my, about myself quickly. Uh, I, I'm founder and CEO of Hello Space. I'm a serial entrepreneur running three startups parallelly in Japan, in India, and in the US. Um, I, got a, I have a background in energy industry over 10 years. Um, I experienced East Japan Great Earthquake when I used to work for Cosmo Oil. The Cosmo Oil got uh, explosion. Also, I was working as a counterpart of crisis. Um, I lost my mom, who used to work for the TEPCO. TEPCO got the crisis in the uh, nuclear power plant. So I decided to develop the new energy technology. So I started uh, Hello Space. 
Here's our team members. We have hardware engineer, software engineer, and advisors from academia. So what we are trying to solve is about EV, meaning battery. The battery of EVs are very big and very expensive right now. And cruising range is short, and the battery materials are not enough on the Earth. So we come up with a generative drive system, not drive. This is semi-superconducting power generation method during driving and braking. This can decrease the battery size and manufacturing cost of EVs, and it can increase cruising range significantly. This is compatible with any type of EVs, from e-bike to spaceship. This is the first use case of Mag Drive. We installed it to the e-bike, and this is a performance comparison between normal e-bike and our e-bike. So we reduce the battery size over 60%. At the same time, we increased the cruising range over 40 times on Echo mode. Actually, this is a breakthrough of mobility history. The original technology, regenerative brake system, was invented over a century ago. And this was commercialized by Toyota Prius 20 years ago. This can generate power only while braking. But now we can create power why accelerating too? Now we are making product with Toyota Tsusho Group in Japan and in India. We are making products for two wheels mobilities right now. Actually, we have some. I have sample here. So if anybody interested in, I happy to show it there. But yeah, please talk to me. So it's a kind of attachable type. Oh e-bike and e-motorbike. So market size of this technology is very huge. Total market is over one trillion dollar. We have many waiting customers in Japan and in India. Right now we have done prototyping, so we are preparing for mass production. We start from two wheels, and um, next we try to make four wheels, and um, in the future we want to make for the spaceship or aero vehicle. So if anybody interested in this technology, we are looking for investors for mass production. We are preparing for next to fundraising, um, maybe within six months we will do it. So. Please talk to me later. I'm happy to show our sample. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you to all the Detro companies. You can see that they work very, very hard on these pitches. Um, pitching in uh, not your first language is always difficult, and uh, they've worked tremendously over the last 13 weeks to get here. So congratulations to my Detro teams.